Hello beautiful people, like, share and subscribe. So Nigerians are now fleeing to Afghanistan, a country you can never imagine that there is a sector in that country that can be better than Nigeria. And that is why sometimes when I look at some Nigerians boast and talk about how Nigeria is big and Nigeria is giant, I just smile. Anyway, let me go to the crux of the matter. So, this is by a uh, popular sports uh, journalist in Nigeria. His name is Omar Aketsuba. Uh, so, he said, A player I know just called me from Afghanistan. I asked him what he's doing there and why not just play in the NPFL. His response I played in the NFPL for Gombe United and Wiki Tourist, and I was earning 300,000 naira and 200,000 naira respectively. But in Afghanistan, I earn 2,000 euros per month. I live in a hotel paid for by the club plus feeding. I'm going to Nigeria now with over 20,000 euros after the season ended. I just said, carry go my guy and keep quiet. Now, let me even talk about the area of sports and I'm not going to blame Tinibu directly for the roads in the sports system but as president, you need to affect health sectors because it's a very difficult world. I'm not blaming him directly, but I want to tell you what has been happening since time immemorial. So, Nigeria is a sports loving nation. Did you watch the last game Nigeria played against the uh, Benin Republic? Did you see how the camera quality was? Look at the streaming and everything, the field. I looked at the field. I don't know, many of you were not disappointed at the field. It didn't look sharp. Look at the edges. Look at they are even using wooden. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, the things that cover, uh, you know, that um, cover the side of the field. I forgot what they call. It. Instead of using electronic stuff, other countries are doing things more than more than we are doing things backward. They are still using wood, writing M's on those uh, things that surround the field. Those I know what you, you know what I'm talking of. I forgot the name. Now I even looked at the track and field. Yeah, Oshime was running after he scored the goal. Look at the thing. It looks as if they have not washed it or painted it and paint. Our people don't even really understand what they call attention to details. Since I was born, Nigeria is a sports loving nation. The government cannot build sports centers all over the country. What about swimming? What about building swimming pools? What is in swimming pool that these people cannot build? Especially in the riverine areas. Create competition. The people that are qualified, the government will select them and be training them so that they will compete in the next Olympics so that they can win many gold because there's a lot of gold in that Olympic uh, swimming area. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are many... And swimming... I, 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 let me tell you, I never knew until I lived in a house that had a swimming pool when I traveled out. You can have one swimming pool and you will not change the water for years. What is... You just be pouring those there chemicals. I don't like that idea, but I'm just telling you what happens in swimming pool. What is there that our government cannot do? There are many things you can use to give people hope. Eh? A country that has football, you cannot do sports centers. What is sports centers? They are not stadium. You know, that's just mini, mini something where people can go and watch sports, create mini league in the rural areas. I'm talking, they will go there and play. Have football, basketball, uh, running. Uh, let's say if it even was ask rugby, what is difficult there? Eh? Ask, I put all those sports that require um, running and endurance. Give people hope. True sports. Imagine Nigeria now living to Afghanistan. Because he wants to go and play. Ah, I didn't believe this one. Afghanistan, our people will say it's a confused country. It's paying better than Nigerian leagues. Ah, thank God. People go to Sudan to go and play soccer. Sudan. Yeah. Even table tennis. Every time I'm hearing, there's one Nigerian table tennis lady. I think it's from the southwest. The man is old. Now, every time, he's the only man I know that is the best. So, are you telling me in this country? No state governor can do the table tennis competition and, and empower people from this region, put it in all the rural areas, and you know, give people hope through table tennis. The best set of people will be trained, fed, and you know, kept in a place, even if it's 20 people, just like that. Nigerian government doesn't know what they want to do. Anytime they want to show Nigerian match, that's why I sometimes I don't, I start understanding how South Africa has banter us on this football thing. You're getting, you're using players from all, all over Europe that have Nigeria heritage as machinery, yet you cannot train them from Nigeria. We used to before, but now the whole system is just terrible. Let me know your thoughts. So, Nigerians now, Afghanistan. Uh, let me know your, this is very strange. Let me know your, this is Nigeria. God, I never believed that Afghanistan can be better than Nigeria, even in one sector, or a rich country. Nigeria, shame.